Hey guys, what is up here with you? Another trailer review this time for one that's probably kind of controversial for some. But before I get to that, let's do the sneak peek for Batman v Superman. Now the sneak peek is only like 50 seconds long, so there's not a lot to talk about. But I kind of want to get that done, then get to the trailer. Now, this one's pretty interesting. Like it's in this area, I guess you can say, that we don't really know anything about. And it's only been teased in the second trailer, and of course, this. Um, Batman's hanging up on these chains, and you know, the prisoner's there. Superman just crashes down, like crash lands in a way, into the opening that leads to the area that has his walkway to it. There's these soldiers that just kneel down before him. He walks in with a sinister look on his, with his sinister look on his face, just a mean look on him. He rips off the mask, he sees Bruce Wayne, and he just has this bad look on his face. Now, we don't know much about it, and but it's pretty cool. And those very PG-13, I'm just wondering, man, this looks pretty interesting, where would it go? And then you start the trailer, and the biggest, and like I said, the trailer, while not exactly bad, it's unfortunately created some more skepticism for the movie for me. I'm sorry, but to be honest, this movie's left me more, it's left me more skeptical for the movie, though still, I am retaining hope that it will still be a good movie, and that, uh, it, well, I'm hoping at best it'll be really good. I don't think it'll be perfect at all, in all honesty. But, you know, the sneak peek is awesome. I'll put a link down in the, in the description below. <laughs> now, let's get to the second trailer. This one, undeniably, has some people in arms. Some people are hating on it. People are saying it's actually good. For me, I'm probably a little bit down the middle, in all honesty. Now, the trailer opens up pretty well. I mean, you see, uh, it's at Wayne, you know, it's at that, uh, I don't know where it is, but I mean, you see Superman's Clark Kent, and, you know, the sunglasses and all that shit. To be honest, when it comes to me about the disguise, it's an obvious disguise that's too way too obvious, but what works for about it is the personality of Clark. It's completely different from Superman, and thus you can't completely buy Clark Kent as Superman. That's why this disguise works. It's not the disguise, it's the person himself. You know why it works? Because he's able to hide it. And from what I can see here, like, you know, he almost looks like he's kind of into it. It looks like maybe he's actually, I can almost, like, buy him as that. And he just does I just can't completely buy him as Superman, so maybe it's working. I don't know, maybe I'm just being a bit of a fanboy there. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, it's pretty cool seeing him as a reporter. And it's, I like this. And, you know, when he first introduced himself to Bruce Wayne, this is this great dialogue scene between the two. I mean, talking about, first he's talking, like, Clark is talking about, talking about the Bat Vigilante that's basically around Gotham. And, of course, you, know, you see, this is a completely different Batman. He leaves his mark on the criminals he catches. The battering is cool. I don't know. <laughs> but one thing is, now I heard this kind of, I mean, I don't know if this takes inspiration from, like, Frank Miller's interpretation of Dark Knight, like Dark Knight Returns or something like that. I have no idea. Um, I don't have much experience in that, but, I mean, this is a completely different take on the Dark Knight, one that will be pretty damn brutal leaving his mark on criminals. <laughs> Holy shit. Sure, it's only one, but it's probably like that for everyone else to know that he's the bad vigilante helping Gotham, I guess you can say. <laughs> and there's this great dialogue scene between the two. I mean, it's it's a great scene. Talking about, like, he's I mean, talking about journalism, talking about, like, about the sense, talking about, like, you know, huff pieces. Basically saying, you know, what's your opinion, like, on the bad vigilante? And he's saying, like, you know, like, basically, the way, like, basically criticizing people, like, above, like, he's basically above the law. And he says that, and Bruce basically replies, like, your plan, think, and it's way of, like, criticizing people that are above the law is a bit hypocritical. And he says that he basically, they basically write huff pieces about a man that saves a cat in a tree. He's basically an eighth god, like, an alien. God is basically like an alien that could destroy, burn the world down. It's such, I mean, I know something else to it, but I forgot about it. Damn it! But it's such a great scene. Talking about this journalism. Talking about the journalism, I mean, like, knowing the fact that, number one, we are dealing, number one, like, knowing the fact about these huff pieces about Superman and the Bad Vigilante, seeing, like, their opinions on him. Just seeing a clash is good. I just like how that plays out. And then you get interrupted by Lex Luthor, played by Jesse Eisenberg. Now I am skeptical towards him. I am. Of course, Henry Cowell looks good as Superman. I'm hoping for him also as Clark Kent. Really excited for Ben Affleck. He seems to be perfect. He seems to be really actually nailing that role. People are going crazy over his casting. I wasn't going crazy over it. I feel like, you know, give him a chance. I think he'll do fine. 
And, but this is where I'm a little skeptical. Sure, I mean, I know you say you take things with a grain of salt, but the way that he's interpreting, like Jesse Eisenberg is, is Lex Luthor, just doesn't work. The way he introduces himself, it's kind of entertaining. Maybe it's meant to be funny, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, it just didn't work for me completely. Throughout the trailer, I mean, there are times where he has that sinister look to him, and he looks like he'll have something. It looks like he has a bit of a sinister look to him. I think maybe, maybe he won't be exactly bad, I just don't. I just don't think really he's complete fit for the role. I'm thinking I have a lot of skepticism for it. I'm hopeful. Maybe I hope to eat my words on that. I'm hoping he's good, and I'm hoping it's not exactly a horrible interpretation of Lex Luthor. It's actually a good one. Um, but at this point, I'm not too sure about it. You see Amy Adams a little bit. There's also one of the scenes with like uh, Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor. Not that bad of a line, I guess, from him. I mean, who knows what how Amy Adams involved in the entire story? Who knows? Um, it's kind of cool seeing this spree shot of the Batcave. I thought that was pretty. It looks pretty cool. Jeffrey was it Jeffrey Wright that's playing Alfred? You know that small, small thing. Oh shit! I I remember what he was talking about involving like you know the way like his his opinion on on like you know like Bruce's opinion on. On Superman, saying that's kind of like the Gotham in him, basically. Uh, people dressed as clowns. Something about like people dressed as clowns. I, I wish I read that entirely and completely. Hold on, man. No. Okay, and I understand what he's saying. He's saying it's basically Gotham City in me. That history of people dressed as clowns, basically teasing the Joker. Love that scene. Um, also saying, like, not exactly like him as a guy, basically writing huffies on an alien that could just, that could burn the world. That could burn the world or something like that, or something along those lines. Yeah, I like that scene. I think it's Jeffrey Wright we're talking about, um, like he's playing Alfred. It's a small, it's a small line, but, you know, maybe he'll do something with it. I have no real clue, but, you know, maybe it'll be nice seeing him in there. Look, I don't know. Oh, Jeremy Irons. Who am I talking about? Jeremy Irons. <laughs> yeah, um, also you have a lot of, uh, cool, I mean, like, also the way they tease, like, yeah, basically, like, you have the, of course, the Robin suit with the Joker writing on it. It's really cool. Um, also, of course, you see the courthouse and, you know, Clark, Superman basically landing in front of it with those crowd of people behind him. I like how it's showing a bit more of a two-sided argument of the character. I do like that. I think that can be one thing I really like about this movie. And something that will be a little bit something new for superhero films is more of a two-sided argument. When you look at these superhero films, they're kind of a little biased. I mean, seriously, if you ever seen anything but two-sided, two like for example, the original Spider-Man series, really all you saw was J. Jonah Jameson being the person in the minority, and that's kind of sad. I kind of like, I mean, would they, exp I mean, would it be nice exploring the two-sided argument? I don't think it's really necessary, but it, it, I hope they show up. I hope they do, I mean, like, not show it in your face. I think they'll show it enough. <laughs> I do like that, though. I mean, yeah. Um, you just don't see a lot of two-sided arguments for, for superheroes. I don't see them a lot. I like to see something like this. I'm excited for how that plays out, even though it's probably a small thing. It's just something I like to see. It's a small detail that catches my eye. Um... The, the visuals look good. This could be just a visual feast for the eyes, you know. <laughs> the action scenes look pretty damn good. Um, um, you know, some cool things there. I mean, it has like a lot. I kind of like some of the lines. Like if I stand down, if I have, if I, if I did, you'd be dead already. I don't know what he said before that. There is of course that weird scene like in that that setting. I don't know what exactly it is with like those. Mutants or something like that, like these almost like people with like these bizarre, like people with these weird mutations, something like that. Mutants, I don't know. It's a bizarre thing. I don't know. If, like, like is this supposed to be a dream sequence or is this like some like is this something Lex Luthor created? What the hell? I don't know what it is. It's a bizarre visual. I'm just hoping. Like, I mean, who knows? Could I come off as something pretentious or something like that? I doubt it. That's probably just me coming up with some dumb speculation. Something that just will be automatically contradicted. And I'm thinking, Jesus, what the hell is this? <laughs> is it a bad thing? No, it's just something that kind of... I just don't get it at this point. But remember, the movie hasn't come out yet, so maybe, maybe I just maybe my worrying is just basically pointless. Um, 
I mean, it has good action scenes, and the movie looks good. It looks like a good-looking movie, without a doubt. The visuals look great. I mean, come on. The son of Krypton was the bat of Gotham. What a life with those lines. Now, Louis Kyle looks like it may have something there, but I'm thinking, unfortunately, it does have its issues. It does have its issues. And the number one thing people complain about, it showed too much. You basically know the movie's going to play out from the first, second, and third acts. First act. They meet up with each other, they kind of pick her a bit, a rivalry starts building up there. Second act, they're fighting. And of course, you know, they make up after that. The third act, Dooms, Lex Luthor creates Doomsday, unleashes them as a result of a fight between Doomsday and, of course, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman comes out. Now, Wonder Woman, now they even showed her talking at all in the trailer, and I don't have any concerns on that. Maybe they just. I'm not saying she'll be bad. I mean, she looks good. The costume looks fine. And we need more female female heroines, especially in comic books. I mean, I know we have Black Widow, um, Scarlet Witch. Um, who else do we have? I know, I know, like, Evangeline Lily is going to play Wasp, I think, in Ant-Man and the Wasp in 2018. So, yeah, we have another upcoming... Uh, character there but yeah I don't have any concerns that her not saying anything I think I seen one trailer where the main where some where one character didn't say anything and it was fine I don't know what it was if you probably know any trailers like that comment below because I know I, I know I said one I don't tell when a friend and I were discussing this like Gail Gadot not saying anything in the trailer I said well I heard about it in one trailer and it was in character and the actor was fine the role do you guys know what I'm talking about Comment below the trailer, like I said before, comment below the trailer if you know what I'm talking the trailer that I'm talking about and for the movie I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Doomsday. Now, when I looked at his design in the uh, carrot design, he doesn't look terrible. Some people are saying it's like, a, I think some people are saying it's like a prototype. And I guess I mean, that's the case. I'm hoping he's not shoehorned into the plot. To be honest, I think for this movie to work properly and also give Doomsday a good amount of proper characterization or get much more of an impact, the movie needs to be long. But to be honest, I don't think it's necessary to have him in this movie. See, the thing is, I mean, this movie's titled Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Why is it? It's kind of they're basically setting up a Justice League movie at the end. I don't get that. I don't get it. <sighs> Now, I know this film did receive a standing ovation from the execs of Warner Brothers, but I'm thinking, is that completely a good thing? Now, I'm not saying it would be bad, I'm just thinking, is the film really that can be that good? I don't get it. Um, yeah. It needs to be long. If this, if this, if this stuff's going to play out well, it needs to be long. Now, I know there's like a German site, there's like this German ticket site that sells movie tickets that, that says like, Two hours thirty one minutes long. So it's not confirmed it's not a confirmed runtime, though it may it could be that long, who knows? And I'm thinking that'll work. To be honest, when I was thinking about this movie needs to be like two hours, twenty minutes, or even two and a half hours. I'm not even joking when I say that, because if you're gonna get this like proper I mean they have to build him up. I know they're kinda of, they're saying a little bit of his character, like they're showing stuff that would lead to his creation, but I'm thinking, is this gonna be a like very good build up or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> Um, the visuals look good, and you know I do like that final visual of the of the three standing, you know, one woman in front, the two, and Batman, Batman, and Superman in the background. Batman's holding a gun. This is a different take on Batman. So, could it be a real gun? Could it be like a like some kind of other gun, like a like thing that has like sonar blast or something like that? I don't know. Sonic blast is what I mean. Um, could be like a rail gun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Laser. That's just dumb speculation. We just don't know at this point. This show showed too much. Without a doubt, it showed too much. The thing is, it's like it's trying. I feel like Doomsday is going to be like thrown into the movie at the last minute, and I don't like that move. It's, it's just something I don't recommend. I just don't think it's a smart move. It's like basically trying to set up a Just League movie in the last few minutes. I'm hoping that's not the case. I really do hope so. But the thing is, there's just something there that says, 
okay, this is this is gonna become another. This is gonna be like okay, let's just do this because why not? We have the money to do it. I don't know. I'm just a little afraid. I hope to eat my words. I really want to eat my words, but just something like that is just not getting me there. Is is this, is Doomsday design horrible? I know some people don't like his design, but I don't think it's like truly awful. It doesn't look like the CGI is bad. I'm hoping maybe he's a prototype, and then of course look at the actual going out in a future Justice League movie, maybe part two. I don't know. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I don't know. One thing is for sure, it will be a, on a technical basis. It will it will succeed without a doubt, but. My only real concern for the film is on a story and narrative basis. Now, granted, the video's not come out yet, so they showed us like the beginning, middle, and end, but not really the in between. Are they trying to tease that? Are they trying to leave that for us? Because I mean, the, when they show that visual, like the Comic Con trailer, when they showed us that stuff in the uh, like that desert scene with those soldiers, and of course with this trailer and like those mutant things, whatever the hell they are, that's one thing. So I feel like is this really gonna play? Is the, is the way he's going to play out in between those acts and in, in, in during those acts different? Basically, you just know how it's going to play out. But I feel like, is it going to play out a little differently than what we expect? I don't know. To be honest, I just don't think Doomsday is necessary. Do I think it would be horrible? I hope not. Because, I mean, they show a lot of crazy on top of the city destruction, destruction. And, you know, it's not... Whatever, it's not a terrible thing. Um... I'm just hopeful that this film will be good. I just think it'll, I just think it's gonna. I just feel like it's gonna suffer on a story and narrative basis. I just think that will be the failure. I hope not. I really hope to eat my words. I mean, Chris Terrio, he wrote Argo, which actually Ben Affleck directed and starred in. Um, that was a great script. He won an Oscar for it. And I think they. And I think from what I heard, Warner Brothers was so impressed with his rewrite for this movie that they actually made him re. They actually hired him to write. The Justice League movies. So that leaves me with a bit of hope. I'm thinking, is it going to be a perfect film? Is it going to be a good film? I hope it's a good film. I really do. I don't. I hope to eat my words. But at the same time, damn it, they reveal too much. They really should have left Doomsday for us. But I mean, would Doomsday work? Who know? But like I said, the movie has not come out yet, so we. This is all we have to go on. I hope I eat my words. I hope all of us eat our words. I hope a lot of people. I think a lot of people are also hoping something to eat my, to eat our words. Hoping it's a fun to people who are skeptical of this film to eat our words. Hope it's good, truly good, and a good setup for the DC extended universe. I hope so, especially for the Justice League movie. I really hope that's the case. Um, this was a trailer that was quite good. I love the Comic Con trailer. I go back and watch it. I don't think it's not, I don't, would it help the movie? No, because basically they te that could have been, they could have left the trailer at that. I mean that. They could have left it at that. They really should have. They should have left the trailer, they should have left it at the Comic Con trailer. That's it. Don't tease anymore. It's like, it's almost like you're not confident that this film will be good. It's like you're confident it's not going to be a hit. I'm more concerned for this film than probably before, and I'm sorry, that's not, that's not what you should be doing. You shouldn't. I don't feel like. I feel like this, this trailer was just unnecessary. You didn't need to do that. Just leave the trailer. Just leave the Comic Con trailer at that. That was it. That was the best trailer. That was a great trailer. I love that trailer. Even though I, I wasn't a hundred percent on board with the movie because of Zack Snyder. He's more style over substance, obviously. But I am hopeful. I really want to eat my words. I'm still remaining hope that this will be a good movie, and I really, really hope to eat my words. I want to. I want to. I hope this movie is a bit long because I feel like to get all this stuff playing out, to flesh these characters out, to introduce it and set it up well, you need a long length. And I'm on board for that too. Hate on me. Shit. Hate on me only one. I want a long length because this won't. Because if you're going to rush all this, this is going to come off as a sloppy mess. It will. It will. I hope I hear my words. I really do. Okay, guys, it's my review for the trailer for Batman v Superman, the sneak peek, and, of course, the third trailer, official one, I believe. Or, like, the second official trailer, I guess. I don't know. This trailer did reveal too much, but I'm hoping to eat my words when the movie comes out that it will be actually good. I have too much skepticism, but I'm hoping to eat my words. I really do. I hope so. Comment below, what did you think of the trailer? What did you think of the sneak peek? Um... Did it change your thoughts on what you feel like about the movie? Do you think it'll be good? Do you think it'll be kind of on the same line as Man of Steel? Um, 
Do you think it'll be a disappointment? Do you think it'll be a failure? I'm not betting on that, but I'm just thinking I want it to be a good film. Even great, I maybe it'll be great. I don't not betting high on that, but maybe it will be. Maybe I'll eat my words. Like, I really do hope to eat my words, like I said. But you know what? We'll wait and see when March comes. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe channel for more videos. Um, yes, I'm gonna add something to it. This is just my suggestion for casting Lex Luthor. Now, I'm not saying Jesse Eisenberg will be terrible or flat out bad. But to be honest, I think we're all saying this. Brian Cranston should have been cast. We can't, we can't get everything. Maybe one day we will. Maybe one day we'll get Brian Cranston's Lex Luthor. I don't know. Hopeful for Jesse Eisenberg. I'm just saying that. That's just me commenting this. You know, yes, the trailer review is truly done for real. That's just me. That, that's just my opinion on who should be cast Lex Luthor. We're probably all saying that, but let's just leave it at that. I'm hopeful for Jesse Eisenberg. I'm hopeful, okay? Hopeful for the movie. Let's leave it at that.